What's up guys, in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to wipe or how to clear the cache partition of your Galaxy A23. Now for this one, we'll need to put the phone into recovery mode. And to do that, you need the USB cable that came with your phone. Now plug the USB-A side onto a computer, which is turned on, and make sure it's a computer and not just a charging outlet. It has to be plugged in into a computer. And then plug the other side into the USB Type-C port of your phone. And with that done, go ahead and switch off your phone. And once the phone goes off and the charging animation comes on the screen, go ahead and press the power plus the volume up buttons and hold these buttons until the Samsung logo appears on the screen and then you can let go of the buttons. So again, power and volume up, hold them in simultaneously. So there you go, one, two, go. Wait for the Samsung logo to appear. There you go, release. And now the phone should boot into recovery mode. There you go, perfect. If it doesn't work for the first time, then try again and try to be a little bit more precise. Anyway, while you're here, there's no touch screen operation. So everything you're going to do is going to use the button. So use the volume up and down buttons to scroll up and down on this menu. And to select anything, use the power button. So in this little menu, we are looking for wipe cache partition. So we have, there you go. So wipe cache partition. So to select that, use the power button on the side. So press the power button. Scroll down to select yes, and then enter. And now it's in the process of clearing cache partition. And once it's done, it's going to tell you the cache wipe is complete at the bottom of the screen. Now, having done that, you can now reboot system now. And this is the option that takes you back into the One UI operating system of your phone. So select Reboot System Now and then press the side key to select and wait for your phone to restart. So the phone starts normally and there you go. We are back into the phone having cleared or wiped the cache partition. And that's how you can do it on your own Samsung Galaxy A23. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. And good luck.